And across the ring, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, his opponent wears the green trunks, trim with orange. He fights out of Gary United and waiting at 11 stone, 3 pounds and 6 ounces. He's undefeated as a professional. 21 big wins from 21 contests. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Ireland's John Daly. The officials appointed for this contest by the Boxing Union of Ireland, the timekeeper, Mr. Alex McKenzie, the referee in charge of the action, Mr. Emil Teak, who will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Yes, Emil Teat, a familiar figure in the stadium, as it was his father before him. Put him up, let's go. Great Fred Teat. Well, the odds are certainly stacked against Prince Aaron. He boxed only eight days ago, did I? And that was, uh, he won on points then against Martin Marshall in Peter Lee. But this is an entirely different task altogether against John Duddy. The stakes for Duddy are immensely high, and he knows it, and away they go in round one. Look at the reach and the height of this man already, Aaron. And a snappy enough left jab as well. Well, if he's smart, Jimmy, he'll stay out of trouble, keep things at long range, but it's something to, to John right. Duddy to break him down and wear him down and, and get inside those big long arms. I started banging in good hard body shots and good hard head shots. But if this guy's smart, what he'll do is he'll stick and move, do what he's doing now, be always on his back foot and moving out of trouble. Right! Step back now! Of course, Step back. a good campaigner, but it's only his 22nd row fight. I know that's a lot. Many people have been world champions within that span of the fights. But Duddy has a huge 2008 ahead of him. One thing he cannot afford to do is get cut, uh, certainly not seriously, but that can always happen. But what a re height and reach and that is ge are generally going pairs, and there's no doubt about it, they certainly do tonight. Long left jab, you can see it going out, so he has inches to spare here, uh, Prince Aaron from Manchester. What's six feet three he is, and Duddy would be uh, certainly short of six feet, that's for sure. Duddy trying to get inside him. But Aaron's left hand is good and he's no dope this young fellow as we've seen now in the first minute and a half of the fight. He went down there earlier. I don't know why he went down, Jim. I don't know whether John Duddy got, got, got through with a punch or uh, the Prince Aaron slipped. I haven't a clue. I didn't see what went on. But uh, he went down and he looked like he was... Uh, and then John looked at him and wondered what was wrong with him because I couldn't put my finger on why he went down. Oh, he slipped then. And uh, now Duddy's having trouble here getting inside him. But of course, Duddy's a cool customer and he's very familiar with this area here in Dublin the ring, the stadium where he boxed so often and so well, both in the Irish Championships and for Ireland. And so popular. Got a wonderful reception when he boxed here the last time against Alessio Forlan. And equally so tonight, into the ring during the fight now, as finally he's caught. And he's caught Aaron with the left hand and another one to follow up. And Duddy takes a deep inhalation of breath as he comes over to a neutral corner just above us. Emil Teat is counting Prince Aaron. Prince Aaron looks over to his corner and says, what height am I now? Well, he started at 6'3 and he's gone down to about 6'1 because Duddy is after him. The left hand caught him, and that was the damaging punch. Now is he going to survive another 15 seconds? That's what's in the run. Duddy trying to get all over him now, tries a right hand, misses the distance, Duddy. Just if he gets in range here, he'll really punish him. Good covering up, though, from Prince Aaron. Covered up very well, there's the bell. He survived it, and I bet half a minute ago, Dave Boyle McCauley, you didn't think he would. No, look, he survived that, but I would be very surprised if he lasts another one or two rounds, John Duddy came out, swarming out. It was a decent left hook, put him down, but wasn't a devastating punch. You'll see it here again, bang, there it goes. Not a devastating punch, as you can see yourself, but it did the damage and down he went. So I think that this young man now is looking for an early way out. I can't see him lasting much longer.
maybe this round or the next round, and then bang, he's going home. Anyway, he took this fight virtually at the last moment. Pack Stadium and among the attendants here, just at the ringside, is Martin Donnelly, the famous M. Donnelly, so much involved with the Bernard Dunn thing. And of course, with Puck and Puck Father and with what used to be the Railway Cup, the Provincial Championships, he was in valuable fit this evening for the semi finals. He's here at the stadium now, and he reminds me that next Saturday evening, 6 o'clock at Croke Park, will be the finals. Now, let's concentrate on what's in the ring. It's John Duddy. Certainly knew the way to the to the vulnerable parts of Prince Aaron in that first round. And Aaron is on his bike and trying to stay away now. But how long can he stay away? I mean, how long is a piece of string? If you're Prince Aaron at six feet three. But John Duddy, John Duddy knows he has his measure now. It wasn't exactly a, an incredible punch of strength that put him down the first time but he got him off balance and if he does it again Duddy has the ammunition there's no doubt about that and that right hand of John Duddy's is cocked ready to go ready to go at any moment so far he's quite sparing with it jabbing away with his left hand there it goes the left hand again and he's finding a way through and you wonder how long this young man can stay out of danger he has a long left lead there's no doubt about that but Duddy again goes punishing him we're only in the second round, and it looks as though Prince Aaron is about to lose his throne, or the Princess of Thrones. The writing's on the wall now, Jimmy. There's, you can tell by the way the young guy is looking here, and the, and the way he's the, the way he's conducting conducting himself here right now. He's looking for a way out. He doesn't want to get hurt, but uh, John just can't get those good punches landed. Uh, he's, he's throwing loads of shots. They're going round the side. One or two are hitting the target, but they're not doing a big lot of damage. But this young fella, I know by looking at him right now, if John Dory can catch him with three or four good hard shots, he it's, wants to go. It's good night, sweet prince. If he catches him with one or two good shots here, because Duddy is the master. He hasn't really opened out completely on him. He can't go mad either. It's only the second run, but he has him in his sights. And one decent punch just might end it for Duddy. How long can Aaron survive? Another one there, he took to the body, and that hurt him, there's no doubt about that. And down he goes. It was the first of those couple of punches in that cluster that put him down. He's down for the second time in the fight. He's not exactly in, in total distress, but he is in wonderment. He's up again, down twice. Emil Teeth gives him the benefit of the doubt. There's no reason to stop it or anything now, but the left jab of John Duddy is now living in his face, and down he goes again. And young Prince Aaron, he's only 19, the Gotham, and he's had enough. He's had enough, and Duddy's the winner. And come next February, probably February, in the United States of America, John Duddy will fight Kelly Public for the Championship of the World at Middleweight. Maybe we're cutting our chickens before they're hatched. The eggs haven't been laid yet, or maybe they have. But John Duddy is a winner. The stadium loves him. And fair play to Prince Aaron. He took the fight late on. And really, there was no contest. He took the fight late on. And really, there was no contest in it. Duddy has kind words for the young man. He has a good job. He's got good height. But against Duddy, Duddy is in there, the Derry destroyer. And believe me, there's no footy Duddy with Duddy, as Aaron knows. No, he did what he had to do. He piled the pressure on, kept the pressure on. He was throwing a lot of shots. Some were landing, some weren't landing. But the ones that were landing were doing the damage, like that right-hander. And I knew, by looking at Prince Aaron's face, that he didn't want to know. And he was, he was glad that Freddie Tate didn't let him go on because Freddie knew the young fella had had enough and he didn't want any more and that was why he stopped the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 33 seconds of round two, in the interest of Prince Aaron's own safety, the referee MLT to stop the contest, the winner and now 22 and undefeated, Highlands Jones! as well.
first and of all, Dublin congratulations. Ireland. Well done. Thank you very much. Give me your thoughts on that particular uh, fight. Well, unfortunately, as you all know, uh, the opponent that we had scheduled pulled out. Now, you have to give credit here they are, and he came in at the last minute. You know, he's a brave customer. He doesn't have as much experience as me, but uh, I'm a professional at the end of the day, and I hope they go and do my job. And I hope everybody enjoyed it. That's, that's 22 uh, fights and uh, unbeaten. It's a very impressive record. Ah, oh, happy days. Well, we're working hard, we're training hard. I'm working with Don uh, uh, Turner here. I finally started doing what he told me on the round that he told me to do it on. But uh, at the end of the day, this is a work of process. You know, we're, we're uh, on the right track with the world champions looking at me. And I'm to come back for the second time here at the National Stadium and do so well. Home's home. You can't beat, the, can't beat your own, you know. I love all my fans out there. Everybody from Derry, the whole way to New York.